Box office league table, Warner Brothers are currently well in the lead. Apart from Lethal Weapon 3, they also have another costly sequel in Batman Returns, with Michael Keaton as Batman, Danny DeVito as the Penguin, and Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. It opens in America this week and is confidently expected to be the big box office hit of the summer. But I wonder, it has some great effects and stunts and the same darkly impressive look as the original. But if you wanted to be picky, you could say it lacks wit, humour and anything remotely resembling a coherent storyline. Now, these things may not be important, but I don't know, I think they're rather nice to have. Still, judge for yourselves when it comes to Britain in July. What do you want? Ah, the direct approach. I admire that in a man with a mask. <laughs> You don't really think you'll win, do you? Things change. <sighs> Meow. I saw her first. Gotta fly. In director Tim Burton's film, Michael Keaton appears again as Batman and says he tried to make the character a little different this time round. Well, you try to do the things in the that you did in the first one because you have to. He's the same person. And then say, okay, what didn't I get to accomplish in the first one that I can do now? And for instance, in this one, I tried to brighten them up a little sometimes. I didn't want them to be consistently dark all the time. We already established that in the first one. This time we try to find new ways of portraying him, maybe make him a little bit funnier when he can. Take one step closer, Mr. Van Vanden. <laughs> The new additions to the cast include Michelle Pfeiffer looking very S&M as Catwoman and Danny DeVito as the vengeful, horny penguin. Don't tell me. Naked, sexual, charisma. She's a beautiful woman. And being a, a hungry, lustful bird man. <laughs> um, with an incredible strong beak. <laughs> He's bigger than life, Danny, and after they were finished with him, he was really bigger than life, and, and he um, never broke character, and so he was always so disgusting, and like, so like, I never wanted to talk to him. And he'd just sort of sit over in, in a corner and like grunt. And, um, and it was weird because I didn't, I didn't, I never saw him out of um, costume because it took so long for both of us to get ready. So far, Batman hasn't even opened, hasn't earned a penny at the box office. But, given Hollywood's current sequel mania, isn't it already likely that there will be a Batman 3? Probably. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be in it, but there's probably going to be one. I don't know if Tim will do it, but we may. We may do it together, may do it separately, may not do it. I don't know. <laughs>